This is the part 2 of my quest guide to Within the Tides, one of the new main quests for the summer update 2022. In the previous part, I covered the access to Marapur, getting the Beaver Mount, and access to Timira the Many Headed, and how to beat her. You must have done those missions in order to be able to continue with the quest. And before I start, I want to clarify that previously I said that finishing this quest was to get the new backpack and achievement, but that's not all. Finishing the quest is necessary in order to do the other main quest of the update, the Primal Ordeal, since one mission from that quest will require you to get an artifact from the Nagas that they only give you if you have finished the quest. So that is why it's important to finish the quest if you intend on doing the high level content as well. With that said, let's start off where we left on the previous video. For this task, you need to buy a hammer beforehand, which you can get in Benor. And while in Benor, also buy a mango and a juice squeezer, which you're gonna need for later. Go back to Marapur, and part of this mission needs to be done during night time. So it's better to wait until the night to start. Then go to the observatory southeast of the carpet in the mountains. In the top floor, you will find Udu. Ask for a mission, which consists of going to the bottom floor and fix the water wheel. Use the lever north of it and then use the hammer on the wheel. After that, report back the mission. Next up will be to bring her a glass lens. This is near the palace in the mountains. Follow the path until the stairs and go up three times to find an S. Click on it to get the lens and bring it to Udu. Now she will give you a celestial shard to be used in three different spots. And this will only work during the night. The first one is near where you found the nest in the top of the tower here. The next one is southeast of the island. Get close to the statue and use the chart. And the third one is located northwest of the island. Go up on these stairs twice and then follow the path to about halfway. Around here and use the chart. After charting the three spots, go back to Udu and report this mission. Next up, head south to the Silver Tides and find Kandra in the palace there and ask for a mission. Now you will have to get the blessings to Kandra's wedding from the two shamans of the Nagas. Head southeast to find the temple of Tarisu, say hi, mission. Then go to the mountains and in the middle area by the depot, take the stairs up to find Birsaki. She will tell you about the coral ball flower and a dance of fly. Then go back to Tarisu and say mission again. This time he should tell you about a vial of holy water and a moonshine pearl. To get these items, you will need to get a foam stalker spoon, a honeycomb, a juice squeezer, and a mango. So get these beforehand. For the foam stalker spoon, this item always drops from the venerable foam stalker in the coral reef. So you might have looted some while killing the 300 monsters for the mission there. If not, go to the reef and loot one or buy it from the market. Now head northeast towards the area where Timira is and find the water vortex. Put on a helmet of the deep or a death Kalia and go in. And then use the seashell to get the moonshine pearl. Go back up and now head west towards the mountain and take the stairs here. Follow the path southeast and you will find some dry wood in the floor. Click on it to get a splint. Then go back a bit and continue the path further southeast. Once at the bonfire, use the splint on it and it should start to burn. Then go back and you need to follow the path towards the north of the stairs. And at this spawn, use the burning flint on it. Then click on it to receive a blessed water. While you're here, you can get a coral bow flower by the mountains to the west, where you did one of the chart missions, but this time continue going to the right. Use the foam stalker spoon on the grass at this spot to grow the coral flowers. Then right click on them to pick them up. Now go straight south and take these stairs. Go towards the palace of Mufo and find Nihaka. Say hi, dance and fly to get a butterfly conservation kit. Now go back where you came from towards the Naga statue. Then use the juice squeezer on the mango to get a flask of mango juice. Then use the flask on the honeycomb to get a flask of mango honey juice. And then use that on the pond of the statue to summon some dance of flies. Use the kit on a living dance and fly. With this, you have the four items the shamans told you to get. Go back to Nihaka and give him the dance fly and the flower. Then back to Kandra in the Silver Tides Palace to give her the pearl and blessed water. Now Kandra will tell you about Kazuma, a mini boss located at the back of the mountain. Go there to these stairs and up twice. This thing on the floor is the teleport that takes you into the room. Once inside, kill Kazuma and open the chest. This boss is easy to do and it's worth repeating every day to get some boss points. After you defeat her, go back to Kandra and report. With this, she will give you the Lilipad backpack. After that, go upstairs and ask for a mission to Saraki. He sends you to find Kamudi, which is located close to where you fall Kazuma. Say hi, Naga X, and she will send you to talk to Berisaki instead, who will tell you to get three items, a parter fur drop from parters, which you can get beforehand, a canary feather, which you can get from the birth cage near Kandra at the Silver Tides Palace. Be aware that you can only get the feather after having finished the previous mission to help with Kandra's wedding. And lastly, a pretty, beautiful or marvelous ice flower, for which she gives you an icicle chisel to make. 
You will need to use a chisel on the ice cubes to make one of these flowers. I recommend to get at least 5 ice cubes as you can fail at making the pretty flowers. Once you have the 3 items, use them on the stone face next to Birisaki. Then ask her about the Naga eggs again. This time you will have to go to the temple of the moon goddess, which is the spawn of the new Nagas. Once there, you need to get to the second floor by killing your way in or running through depending on your level. When you get to this room, then use the gem lotus branch you got from the chest in Kazuma's room in the wall here. Then right click on the wall to get through and right click on the stone to find a bag with Naga eggs. Go back to the surface and towards Komodi, say hi, mission, and she will give you a Naga nest as reward. This is a decoration item. Go back to Soraki and report the mission. He will ask you to defeat the Mira, but by now, you should already have done that, so say hi, mission again. With this, you will have finished the quest. Check the quest log to make sure all the missions say complete. In case something is missing, you will likely just have to go talk to the NPC again. That's all I got for this quest guide. If you found it helpful, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to the supporters of the channel, Tuna Hero, Thor the Slasher, and Nightstar.